Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good, good. I'm glad to see you guys. Welcome, welcome Hello, to the class. Hello. Good evening, Hello. teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Good. Good. I'm doing quite well. All right. Good to see everybody. Um, hopefully today I don't have more connection problems. Turns out that um, in my one-on-one -on -one session, I had another disconnection. So yeah, it was it was a yesterday. Very, yeah, yesterday. So I had three oh. connections yesterday. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. right. You know, so hopefully it will be okay today. Okay. Okay. Welcome everybody. Um, good to see everybody. How are you guys today? For me, everything good. Excellent. Okay, good. All right. Well, let's um, take our attendance. So is Ana Claudia here? Of course, right? Present teacher, yes. All right. Welcome, Ana Claudia. Thank you, teacher. Is Javid here? No, not yet. Okay. All right. What about Andres? Is Andres here? Yes, teacher. Present. All right. Welcome, Andres. Thanks, teacher. And I guess Dennis Orlando, no, right? Uh, how about Edgar Menjibar? Edgar Menjibar, no. Okay, all right. Um, what about uh, the Torleni? I suppose not, right? Urban, Urban Lagos? Hi, teacher, present. Okay, welcome, Urban. Thank you. Fabiola, I guess not. What about Haiti? Is Haiti here? Present teacher. All right, welcome Haiti. And Irene, is Irene here? Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay, uh, what about Ivan? Is Ivan here? Ivan, Ivan? No, Ivan's not here. Okay. All right. What about Josue? Is Josue here? Is Josue here? No? Okay. All right. What about Juan Francisco? Is Juan Francisco here? No? Okay. Jerry? Is Jerry here? Present teacher. Okay. Welcome, Jerry. Thank you, teacher. What about Luis? Luis Ernesto? Present teacher. Oh, welcome, Luis. And Manuel Alejandro, I suppose not, right? Okay. What about Natalia? Natalia? No, no, Natalia. What about Wendy? Is Wendy here? Present. Okay, welcome, Wendy. And um, Werner? Is Werner here? Werner, Werner? No, Werner. Okay, Yvonne. Present. Okay, welcome Yvonne. Thank you, teacher. Is Edgar Enriquez here? Edgar Enriquez? No, okay. All right, and Ellie, I guess, Ellie, Ellie? No, right? Okay. What about um, Jose, Jose uh, Montes? No, okay. And uh, Jose Ayala? Present teacher. All right, welcome Jose Ayala. Thank you teacher. Okay, all right, very good. Um, okay, guys, well, thank you for connecting on time. Let me just make sure that I haven't missed anybody. I didn't hear Javid. Present teacher. Oh, okay, wonderful. There she is. Welcome. 
And Dennis Orlando, Edgar Menjivar, um, Eddie Chorleni, Fabiola, Ivan, Josue, Juan Francisco, Manuel, Natalia, Warner, Edgar Enriquez, eh, El, Elizabeth, and Jose Montes. No? Okay. All right. Okay, guys, that's it then. Well, thank you guys for connecting on time. Um, so today, um, is it just me or is it very hot today? Right? A little bit, but less than last week days. Yeah, a yeah. yeah, you're right. It has been a little bit less, but still it's quite, it's quite hot. Yeah, lucky Haiti that she has a, a window next to her that she can just, <laughs> she's, she's, uh, sorry? I'm cool. I have a cold because I am have air condition. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the reason. Lucky you. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I was... He's he's covering also with uh, on his head, and we are. Oh, <laughs> you're wearing a hoodie and everything. <laughs> yeah, well, well, yeah. Lucky you. I, uh... I wish I could have that, but I, I don't have those um, uh, those privileges. <laughs> Okay, and that's I guess it is not a privilege, if not that is necessary for the yes. day. Yeah. Yeah, and, it is necessary, except that not all of us have that. We all have that necessity. We just don't have <laughs> that um possibility. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad you are, you do. That's good. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, very good. Okay, guys, um, so uh, what we're going to do right now is start with um, our PowerPoint. So please let me know, of course, if you can see. Teacher. It. Yeah. Teacher, I have one question. I don't know the meaning, the difference about vacation and holiday. holiday. There is a different or the same word. Holiday and vacation. Mm. Mm. It has a very similar meaning. Oh, okay. It's a similar mm. meaning. It's I wouldn't say that sure. it's exactly the same. Yeah. When you use a holiday, is because they all of the person are resting, right? Right. And for vacation is when you took or take your vacation. Right, exactly. Um, so the holidays, yes, it's something that That's everybody. That's different, has. right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, in a, in a certain way, yes, it is a difference. Um, so holiday is something that is determined for everybody. Um, you know, so everybody has that. I'm just gonna actually stop sharing for a moment. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, um, yes. It, for example, in the, in the terms of vacation um sorry sorry in terms of a holiday it, it's a period of time where everybody has that i i guess that day off let's let's call it right um so yeah they it's or it also can refer to a period of time where people celebrate something okay for example, no los, no feriados. Yeah, for example, in December, they say the holidays, even though in December, really, there's only one day that people have off, which is um, in December 20, 25th, right? But that is like a period of time where many people have uh, a time off, you know, like children have time off from school. They're not, you know, they're not receiving classes. Some people... Um, you know, their workplace lets 
them have a little bit more than just the 25th. Maybe they they have uh, rest on the 23rd, 24th, 25th, or things like that, right? So that that's so it's a holiday can be referring to either one specific day where ma the majority of the people um, have a day off, or it can also refer to a period of time when many people are celebrating something. Okay. Okay. So holiday has a lot to do with celebration. Okay. okay thank, thank you, teacher. And vacation is is mostly like a vacation. You can take it at any moment. Uh, like for example, maybe you can you take vacations from work and you say, okay, I'm going to go to Roatan, for example, and that's your vacation. Your vacation can be during the holidays or it could be at any moment during the year. Okay. Does that make sense? You. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah. All right. So in 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 like let's say in Spanish and resumidas cuentas, a holiday is something you celebrate, right? It's more of a it has to do with the celebration. And that's why most people have a day off. Whereas vacation is just basically a time where you can stop working for a period of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. So we're going to continue here. So by the way, so using that information, next week, are they holidays or vacations? Holidays. Vacation. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, it depends, right? I guess it depends. For the majority of us, it would be a holiday. But for some of you, it might also be a vacation. For me, it's yeah. going to be a holiday because I, I still actually have to work. <laughs> For me, it's vacation. For you, it's because vacation? Because we have vacation all week. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh-huh, very, very nice. Well, we have we have a vacation from, from the English classes <laughs> very <laughs> next week. So by the way, guys, so don't forget that um, next week we don't have classes, okay? So we just go until tomorrow and then we would start classes again. I'll tell you when we start classes. Uh, we would start classes on the 9th, on the 9th of, of August, okay? okay? All right. Okay, good. Okay, so let's continue now. Um, let me start again. Presenting. So this is the intermediate module one, unit two procedures, date uh, Thursday, July 29th, 2021, the day 17, facilitators, Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so discussion. We're going to be doing a little bit of a discussion here. So it says work in pairs. Join the breakout room you have been assigned to. Discuss these questions with your partner. Share your answers with the class. Okay. So you're going to be discussing with a partner. What are the questions? These are the questions. When does Jenny's shift start? What is, Jen, what is Jenny's job in the restaurant? What does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? Um, so this has to do with, just give me a second. This has to do with what we saw yesterday. Um, so it has connection from yesterday's class. Um, Give me a second while I show you what I mean. Okay, so this is, do you, if you guys remember, this was something that we saw yesterday. You guys remember this, this conversation? Hmm? 
Remember between Ruben and Jenny? Yeah. So according to this conversation, you're going to be answering those questions, right? So you're going to be answering the questions are these ones. So when does Jenny's shift start? What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? And what does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? Okay, so I'm going to sign you to your groups, your breakout rooms. Um, it, you know, this shouldn't take you too, too long. So I think you should be able to um, do it in about five minutes, I think. I don't think you need more. So let me give you that time, five minutes. And I'm opening all the rooms. Um, Ivan, are you having problems? No, no. Nobody joined. Okay. Uh, Habit, are you having problems? Oh, wonderful. Hi, Josue. Uh, did you leave? Hi, Josue. Did you leave and come back? Your your microphone is off. Yeah, I'm driving right now, and I have a problem with the connection. Okay. Okay. No problem. Um, all right. So I'm going to put you in a room with uh, Luis, since um, Luis also came in. Okay. Oh, actually, okay. no, I won't be able to do that because, um, oh, no, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to have to split you up, you guys. So I'll send one of you to one room and the other one to another room, okay? There okay. we go. Oh, and Wendy's also here. A regular schedule that she has. Uh -huh. But I guess that only we have to, to write then uh, when she going to start at 9 a.m. But let me see. Because the... the question is, when does Jenny's shift start at 9 a.m.? When does Jenny? Uh, when does Jenny's chief start? It can be the turn. Or this mm. one says, is. Ruben, you have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Then uh, say that she's going to be the hostess. And then uh, um, the 1 p.m to 6 p.m., she going to be the server. Let me see. The regular schedule that I get that she has is the 1 p.m., right? Mm -hmm. Until 6 p.m. And the other, other time that she's going to work is 9 to 8, 11 a.m. But if we focus on the on the question, so when does Jenny shift start? If not gonna say shift, 
started, I guess. Let me see. When does Jenny's shift start? Mm -hmm. And she has started to work at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then, well, Jenny job in the restaurant? Uh, at 1 p.m. Are you guys finished or do you still need more time? Oh, yes, only, only, only one, uh, one hour uh, more. Yes, one, <laughs> one minute. Okay, no problem. Okay, thank you. Uh, the tree, um, what does change sir. from the one? Sir, but sir, uh, let me see. Silver, yes, you can silver. Chicken silver, yes, over the rest in the afternoon. She serves, silver, yes. But I don't know the it is similar server and the hostess. Uh, no. Yes, I know. Are you girls finished or do you need more time? I think we finished. We finish. Yeah, teacher, we are done. Good. All right. Okay, I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's maybe it's server. No, night to night to eleven. She will uh, be a hostess because say hey, if you see the the conversation, say Jenny uh, for the second. Uh, how to production <laughs> production plan? Yes, I have to make a lot of call. <laughs> Uh, a lot of uh, chats in, in WhatsApp is some, something like that. It is is um, a little difficult to handle. Uh, yeah. By virtual uh, meetings, some things. Another oh. ones are, are, are most mm -hmm. uh, uh, most um, uh, easier. I have a oh. hi guys. I have a question. Um, are you guys finished or do you need more time? No, I'm teacher, finished. we're finished. Okay, okay, perfect. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hi, Wendy, can you hear me? Wendy, y mi y mi presentador se me fue, verdad? I mean, about you was waiting for the presentation. I was waiting. Not there. <laughs> no, just joking. Okay. Anyway, all right. So I think you guys were able to um, to have enough time. So let's talk about this. Um, all right. Let me share once again the presentation. Okay. So here we go. First question, what does Jenny, sorry, when does Jenny shift start? Who can tell me? Jenny's shift start at 9 a.m. Okay. Let me read that down. Jenny's shift starts at 9 a.m. 
Do you guys agree with this or anybody have a different answer? Yes, I am not agree. You agree? Yes. Anybody have a different answer? No. No. I guess no, teacher. Okay. All agree. You all agree, huh? Okay, good. I speak for everything. Okay, perfect. Oh, hold on. I'm going to change the color because that doesn't, I can't see it very well there. There we go. So J shift starts at 9 a.m. All right, good. Next question. When is Jenny's job, sorry, what is Jenny's job in the restaurant? Uh, um, she's server. She's hmm? server. She's a server. The server. She's a server? Yes. Sir? Yes, yes, I think. Yes. She started like hostel. We only covered for hostel. She but just covered it for a Gladys, to Gladys. Okay, so Jenny's a server. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gracias, Ivan. I, I appreciate it. Me voy a cenar muy rápido. Okay. All right. Um, so, anyways, um, yes, Jenny's a server. She is only covering Gladys as the hostess oh, just okay. from those two those two hours from nine to eleven. Okay. Uh, teacher, I have a doubt. Uh, can we use the contraction uh, with the name and the verb to be? Yes, good. That's exactly what I was going to get at. <laughs> Very good. I was about to ask you because I just. I thought that we just use the apostrophe when we're talking the about sessions. the property. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm glad you were able to detect that because that was actually I did it on purpose. Mm -hmm. um, yes. In some cases, you will notice that there is a name and a contraction. Uh, better said, a, a an apostrophe s, and that is not referring to possessive. It actually means the verb to be. Okay, so in this case, Jenny's a server. It's just okay. the same thing when you say, I'm a server. Okay. Yeah, or okay. we are servers. Okay, oh, so that's okay. the same thing. This is just a contraction from the is, right? So it's, it would be the same thing as if I'm saying, for example, it's exactly the same thing. As if I'm saying, quiero ver. She's. She's a server. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Okay, so she's yeah. a server or Jenny, Jenny's a server. I'm sorry, spelled wrong. Jenny is a server. It's the same thing, okay? So just be careful. Look at the context, right? Um, now, it, it, obviously, this doesn't mean that the server belongs to Jenny. That doesn't make sense, right? It's not like this is possessive. It's not the server that um, that is a possession of Jenny, no, right? So that obviously means that this is not possessive. It means that this is the verb to be, okay? Okay. Okay, good. Let's move on. Next question. What does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? She has to serve. Her. She has to serve. Yes. So, and question. Serve. She has to serve her or she has to serve? Serve. She has to serve. serve. To serve. Okay, good. Yes. She has to serve. Serve what? What does she have to serve? Yeah. For the rest of the, the rest afternoon. In the afternoon. Uh -huh. But what does she have to do? She has to serve? In the restaurant. Serve in the restaurant, uh huh. And so who? Who specifically? The customers. Yeah. She has to serve the customers. Good. So she has to serve customers. 
at the restaurant. At the restaurant. Okay. Okay, she has to serve customers at the restaurant. Sounds good, everybody? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. So any questions about this activity here? No. No? It's all clear for you? Okay, good. I hope so. So what we're going to do now is for next, we're going to move on to the next part. Uh, let me erase all of the, okay. We're going to erase everything. We're going to move on to the next part. Now for the next part, we're going to be, yeah. Sorry, I have a question with okay. the, the last, the last uh, question. Okay. Uh, why? Uh, is Jenny have you know Jenny Jenny has? Oh, it's because the the auxiliary does. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's exactly the reason why. Because when we have an auxiliary, we only do the agreement with the auxiliary, not not with the main verb. Okay, so in this case, we already have the auxiliary that is in the third person singular. So we're not going to have a double third person singular. Okay, in English, we don't like to have double th something like we don't like to have double negatives or double aff affirmatives. So the same thing happens. We don't we don't want to have a double agreement. So this, because it does already is, is agreeing with the with the subject Jenny, then we don't do anything to have. Does, does that make sense? Please? Yes, yes, I get it. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. And very good questions. Um, do you guys have any any other questions that you want to ask before we continue? No? Okay. No. All right, let's move on then. Um, Okay, so we're going to be looking at vocabulary now. Okay, so we're going to continue looking at new vocabulary. So first, the instruction says, draw a line from the word to its correct definition. Okay, so we, we have the vocabulary and the definition. So it's going to look like this. So work schedule, which is the vocabulary, what it means is a chart that presents a list of employees, the days of the week, and times of the days they are required to work. Okay, so all you're going to do is you're going to be matching, right, the vocabulary word with the, the definition. Okay, I want you to do this individually right now, and then we're going to be working in pairs and comparing. But for the moment, just work individually. So I'll give you about two minutes to do this. Oh, the thing.
Okay, how are you guys doing? It's done, teacher. Anybody need more time? No? No. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to get you back in your groups. Or sorry, in your... Actually, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do that because there were some people... Never mind. I'm going to make new breakout rooms. Um, so we're going to... Um, we're going to create uh, the new breakout rooms and you're going to compare your answers with a partner. Again, this shouldn't take you very long. Um, so let's do that. Okay, let's open all the rooms. Sure. Sure. Um, yes. Uh-huh. I have the time of the day when a person works. I agree with you. The same answer. Over time. Over time. What do you have? Uh when you work more than the re regular working hours in a day or week. Yes. I in this uh, a small period of time when a person can stop working to eat a rest. Yes, I, a small period of time. Yes. And the chips, I think the, the time of the day when a person works. I agree with you. I, I have the same. Over time for me is when you work more than the regular working hours in a day or week. Yes, I agree. And the calling, the calling, uh, to telephone. Is the, is the old? Only that. Only that is, yes. I think it's correct all the answers. Yeah, for me too. Mm. For me too. Work, schedule, break, shift, overtime, and call in. Only that. Chief at the time of the day when a excuse me over over time excuse me jury and break is the select is a definition a small period period of the of time when a, when a person can stop working to eat yeah or rest that's right okay. Okay. Over time, when you work more than a regular working hours in a day or a week. Colin, Colin, eh, ya lo, lo habíamos visto. Es el to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. So we agree on that and. Yeah. Also, we agree on the break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chip was yes. uh, another word. 
No, shift is the time of the day when a person works. Uh -huh, that's right. So we we'll agree on all, all of this. Hi, teacher. Hi, Miss Jessica. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we he are agree with the vocabulary. Yes, we agree with all of it. We have the same. <laughs> you're very talented. Oh, yeah, you're, you're talking and you're, you're, you're doing this. <laughs> when we remember uh, when you use chief, uh, graveyard chief, uh, graveyard, graveyard. Chief. Yeah. Yeah. It's a word. Uh -huh. nice we were shift. talking a night shift in graveyard. Uh, uh, Josue is, uh, has the question if when you are working in the morning, you can say the morning shift or a.m. shift. Which will be better? Morning shift. Morning shift. Ah, OK. So yeah. morning shift. Morning shift. And, and, and so the one in the afternoon is afternoon shift. The afternoon shift. Uh -huh. I was explaining to him that in my job, I heard sometimes the night shift, but also the graveyard. Night shift is when someone is going out. At, it's working at night, but at, they are leaving at 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Exactly. And the graveyard is because they start They leave at 5 or 6 in the morning. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, we were talking about that. You see? <laughs> Excellent. All right. I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay. Okay. You, Ms. Jessica. You're welcome. <laughs>
una onda eh, el sonido, mm -hmm. una onda mm -hmm. ¿no? something like si that. estamos so, en la misma onda todo Sí, pero no le entendía, güey. No, no, y eso no, no, es onda no agarramos de... la onda. Te <risa> agarramos larga la onda. <risa> okay, so we're going to see if we're on the same wavelength, okay? Okay. Um, all right, so let's see. Let's start with the first one. Um, all right. So. Um, so we know work schedule is a chart that presents the list of employees and the days and times that they are required to work, right? So I think that one shouldn't be a problem. Um, let's go on to the next one. A break. What is break? A small period of time when a person can break with the rest. Wonderful. You guys got it. Amen. <laughs> okay, yes. A small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Very good. Okay, excellent. All right. Shift. It's the, the time, time of the day. Of the day when, when a, a person, person works. Works. That's right. Okay, very good. Exactly. You guys remember that we've been we've talked about this in past courses where mm -hmm. you have like the morning shift, the afternoon shift, the evening shift, the night shift, and even the graveyard shift, right? Do you guys remember the graveyard shift? What is that? Yes. yes. Is the graveyard shift. The midnight, maybe the midnight and the fourth. Yeah. So graveyard shift is when somebody okay. starts working very late. Maybe they start working like at 10 at night or 11 at night and they finish work around five in the morning, six in the morning or seven in the morning. So they work all of the time when people normally sleep. That's a, that's a graveyard shift. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, overtime. When you work more than the regular more working, than regular hours. working hours. hours in a day, in a day or or week. Week. Good, good. Uh, when you work more than the, the regular uh, working hours in a day or week. Also, this uh, is commonly known as? OT. <laughs> exactly, OT. Okay, so you might hear, like, at, at your job, you might hear OT, just simply OT. Mm -hmm. And when they say OT, it's referring There is to OT open for today, from <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So, some... Some information very useful um, to know because sometimes those abbreviations you're like what is that right so now you know mm -hmm. okay and finally we have call in which is fill telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late exactly mm -hmm. good to telephone your workplace to let them know that you're going to be absent or late So if you call, you call in your work um, to say, okay, um, sorry, you know, there's a big traffic jam. And um, so I'm, I'm probably going to be there about, you know, 10 minutes late, right? Mm -hmm. That's call in, right? Um, okay, so although nowadays it's also common to message in, mm -hmm. right? and you can write a little message, to, you know, through, through WhatsApp, you know, an instant messaging or, um, you know, through Messenger or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, or through um, Telegram. Okay, so any questions about this vocabulary? No. Are you sure? No? Okay. All right. Good. Sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, Uh, ab absent, yeah, pronunciation absent. Okay, that very good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you asked. Um, all right, let's talk about vocabulary and, and pronunciation in these words. Um, so you're asking about the pronunciation, right? Okay. The okay. pronunciation of, where is it? This one. Yeah. It's absent. Up. Ab, ab, absent. Ab, ab, absent. Absent. 
Uh, absent. Okay. Absent. Yes. Any other words that you don't know? Required. Spelling, sorry, the, the pronunciation or the meaning? Uh, the correct pronunciation. Required. Oh, this one. Required. 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 Any other words? No. You sure? Mm -hmm. So pronunciation is okay, vocabulary is okay. Yes. Employees. Is the correct pronunciation employees? Yes. Em well, actually, it's not employees, it's employees. Employee. 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 Yes, employee. it's not second, second level. Employee. Employee. Okay, thanks. Any other questions? No? No, teacher. All right, good. All right, I'm gonna stop sharing right now because it's almost nine. So I'm gonna take again our attendance. Okay. So okay. Ana, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Great. Javid. Present teacher. Andres. Present teacher. Sorry, I'm, I'm having problems with my computer. Okay, that's okay. No worries. Thank you for uh, for opening the microphone. Anyways, it's okay. Um, Dennis. Dennis Orlando. I guess not. Edgar Menjivar. Present teacher. Great. Eddie Chorleni. Eddie Chorleni. No? Okay. Um, Irvin. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Fabiola. I guess not, right? Okay. Haiti. Present teacher. Great. Irene. Present teacher. Excellent. Manuel. Uh, sorry, Ivan. Ivan. Present teacher by twice. Okay, great. Uh, Josue. Josue. Oh, I guess he's not here. Maybe he had, maybe he, he had problems uh, while he was driving. Okay, so Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Jerry. Present teacher. Okay, good. Luis. Present teacher. Great, Manuel. No, right? Natalia. Natalia. Wendy. Present. Great. Warner. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Yvonne. Present. Great. Um, Ed, eh, Edgar Enriquez. Edgar Enriquez, no, right? Eli. Jose Montes. Jose Montes. Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Great. Okay. Excellent. Okay. We are going to continue then. Um, we're going to go on to the next one. Uh, the next part is, um, well, tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes? No? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, good. So we're gonna be looking at schedules here. Everybody understand the word schedule? 
Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Now this word here, actually, uh, we're going. I'm, I'm going to stop for a moment because I really want you to understand the pronunciation, the correct pronunciation to this word. So this word is pronounced schedule. 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 Actually, it only has schedule. two syllables. Schedule. Two syllables. Schedule. Okay. It's schedule. Okay. Schedule. 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 Okay. Schedule. Okay. It's schedule. Don't like a Y. It's schedule. No, it's the sound is j j. Like um. Schedule. 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 J. Okay. 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 It's kind of it's similar to when uh you know like the schedule. word bridge, bridge, right? That j. Schedule. Mm. Schedule. Right. That's very similar. That sound. That it's the same sound. Schedule. Jewel. Jewel. Schedule. Okay. Right. And be careful to not pronounce it as schedule. It is not as schedule. It's schedule. Only two syllables. Schedule. Schedule, not a schedule. schedule. No. Schedule, but, but do you start with the S, schedule. right? Schedule. Right. Schedule. So listen schedule. again. Let's just just take a listen. Take a moment to listen. Schedule. 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 Uh, do you do you say the letter S at the at the at the first? Schedule. Right. Schedule. 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 Not a schedule. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. Schedule. Very. Schedule. 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 Okay. okay. Good. All right. So let's start. Look at the schedule and answer the questions below. So we have here the schedule lots of things on the schedule and before i before i show you the questions let's look at the schedule and let's then try to understand if we understand the the the, the vocabulary so i'm gonna ask somebody to help me read uh all of the information from tuesday september 5th can somebody help me read that Okay, teacher, I can read it. Wonderful, thank you. Tuesday, September 5. Laura, kitchen manager. Remember, it's not September 5, it's September 5th. September 5th. Yes, correct. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, Tuesday, September 5th. Laura, kitchen manager, 12 p.m. to 6 uh, p.m. 30, mi 30 minutes break. Thomas, this watching. 12 p.m. to 6 p.m., 30 minutes break. Uh, Sophia, bartender, 4 p.m. to 11 p.m., 30 minutes of break. Carlos, training, say 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., one hour break. Do we need to say from teacher, even though it's not written? Um, yeah, that would be the best to say ah, okay. from. Okay, mm -hmm. so. Um, from 12, so in this case, from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Oh, okay. That's right. That's how we read that. Okay. Oh, okay. That, that little dash there in the middle, that hyphen, it's there to show us that we need to say from to. Ah, okay. Good to okay. know. All right. Any okay, other questions? Good that you to know. Have? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Anything else you guys need to know? Uh, teacher, the meaning of training. Training is a person who is in process to learn all the procedures. Uh, training? Yes, Carlos. Carlos yeah. in, in the schedule training. is training. Yeah, he's in, he's, it means that he's in training. He's in training. He's, oh, he okay. is in training. But the person that receives the training is called a trainee. Trainee. 
Okay. And the one giving the training is trainer, trainer. right? Trainer. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. So okay. Carlos would be a trainee. Trainee. Okay. That will be receiving classes from his trainer. Okay. 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 All right. Any other questions from this? No? No. Okay. So Tuesday, September 5th is okay. All right. Now I need another volunteer to help me read Wednesday, September 6th. I can. Um, Wednesday, September 6th. Um, Kitchen ma a Laura, kitchen manager from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. 30 minutes break. Thomas, day off. Sofia, bartender from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. 30 minutes break. Carlos, server from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. One hour break. Uy, no tiene lunch este pobre. <laughs> Um, he has one hour of one hour break. Yeah, I think he, I think he that can will have, be his lunch. Yeah, <laughs> I think he can have his lunch during that time. Yes. Yeah. One hour break. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, good. But, but but teacher, the order is the only thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So difficult. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Only thirty minutes. Yeah. Because the the other the other person uh, only work, uh, for they example, work. Uh -huh. uh, afternoon shift or night mm -hmm. shift. It's not all the day like Carlos. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because if you notice, Carlos. No, sorry. For example, yeah, Laura only works six hours. Mm -hmm. Um, Sophia only works seven hours, which is less than than a full-time job, right? Because full-time is considered eight hours, mm -hmm. right? And so if, for example, Sofia only works seven hours. And in Carlos's case, also the same thing. Oh, sorry, no, it's not the same thing. In his case, he works 10 hours. 10 hours? Um, yeah, from eight to six. So, that, so because of that, he needs to have the one hour break. So it's, it's relative to to the, how many hours they are working during that day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? Teacher, in United States, is eight hours or seven hours in one day? Mm -hmm. It says yeah. eight, eight hours in one day they work? Yeah, like a full time job is considered eight hours, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that's what a full-time job is considered. And a part-time job is considered from anywhere from four to six hours a day. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's move on to the to Thursday, September 7th. Who wants to read that one? Volunteer? Come on guys, just reading. That's all I need. I just need a, a, a reader. Ivan, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> I'm you guys are being shy today. What's going on? Uh-huh. Thursday, uh, September 7th. Uh-huh. Uh, Laura, kitchen manager from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. 30 minutes break. Thomas, uh, dishwashing from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. 30 minutes break. Sophia, bartender. I don't know if it's correct to say that. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. 
30 minutes break. And Carlos serve server from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. One hour break. Excellent. Thank you very much, Javi. Excellent. Any questions about vocabulary here? I think it's pretty straightforward, right? Okay. All right, good. Let's go on to so Friday, September 8th. Who wants to help me with that one? On September 8th, Laura, kitchen manager from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. and 30 minutes break. Thomas is washing from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, he have a 30 minutes break. Sophia is very happy because on vacation. Carlos server from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. He had a one hour break. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So it's this is very similar. This is some from what we already read before. Good. Okay. And the last one. So Saturday, September 9th. I can teacher. Okay. Saturday, September 9th. Uh, Laura, day off. Thomas, this washing from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. 30 minutes break. Sofia uh, on, on vacation. Uh, Carlos, day off. Thank you. So my big question is, what's going to happen to that restaurant on the Saturday, September 9th? Everybody is off. You know, they're either off or on vacation. So the only person that is there is Thomas, but he's washing the dishes probably from the day before. <laughs> so my, so I'm, I, I'm wondering who is going to be serving all these people on this day. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. So now that we we have this vocabulary, uh, everything, we've, we've analyzed these, um, this schedule and you understand it, let's talk a little bit about the questions or better so let's look at the questions that you're going to be discussing with your, your partner. The questions are the following. First question, who is in charge of purchasing food? Don't, don't give me an answer right now. I'm just, I just want, I just, I'm telling you what the, the questions are, okay? Next question. Um, oh, sorry, purchasing food on Tuesdays to Friday. When is the dishwasher's day off? How long is Tom's break? Oops. What is Sophia's job in the restaurant? When is her vacation? And when is Carlos on training? What is the schedule on Friday? Okay, so I'm going to send you back to your partner in the same group as before, and you're gonna be answering these questions, okay? Sounds good? Okay. Okay. All right. So um, I'm, I'm, though this time I'm going to give you guys a little bit more time because uh, you're probably gonna have to be discussing more information. So let's open up the rooms. Were uh, Irene, are you having problems, Irene? I can't hear you. Your microphone is off.
recording in progress. By wiggling. So just answer all the questions only. Yes. Do you guys understand the questions? Yes. Okay. All right, good. Okay, go for it. Answer the questions. Okay, who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesdays to Fridays? Friday. Kitchen, uh, manager. kitchen manager. Uh -huh. And the next? DJ Thomas. <laughs> <Dish wash. laughs> I want to see Laura. Who's um, in church? Kitchen manager. Yes. Maybe it's possible. Oh, um, okay. This washer, bartender, and training. Yes, mm -hmm. he is. You are. You are. You are. You have a reason. Kitchen manager. Kitchen okay. manager. Laura. No, yeah. Laura. Kitchen manager. Uh, uh, Full from Tuesday to Friday. Laura. We did it. <laughs> yes. I agree. You're finished? Then yes, I finished. Finish. Really? Yes. So quickly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, sounds good. Um, wow, I was expecting you guys to take a little bit long. Excuse me, to, to be, uh, take a little bit longer, but I guess you did it very quickly. Then we finished. <laughs> uh, we're so intelligent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have all, all the number one, we, we write Laura. Because she is a kitchen manager, we think that is purchasing purchasing food. Okay. Uh, what is her name? Laura. Okay. Laura is her name in Spanish. Do you know how to say her name in English? No. Okay. Just like in your name. For example, your name in Spanish is Irene, right? But if you notice, I don't say Irene. I say Irene. Right, because in English it's Irene. And Laura in English is Laura. 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 Okay. Laura. Okay. Laura. Mm -hmm. And the number one is Laura. The number two, uh, we hold think. On, hold on, hold on. It's not Laura, it's Lore. Laura. 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 Okay. Laura. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome <laughs> so much. He's bartender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Wendy. Uh, hi. She's a bartender? She, I don't know. No, yes, um, she's, 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 she's bartender, yes. But yes, my first uh -huh. job in the, in the bartender, yeah, okay. When uh -huh. is her vacation, okay? In vacation in Friday, is Friday. Friday and Saturday, yes, okay. Wendy, are you on Saturday? Camera? Uh, Friday. Yeah. Wendy? Are you having problems with the camera? What, sorry, sir, perdón, I me confundí. What, teacher, sorry? Are you having problems with the camera? No, teacher. Oh, okay, it's just that we can't see you. Oh, really? No. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Erwin, sorry. No problem, Wendy, no problem, no problem. 
Okay. Okay. And the last, uh, number five. When is Carlos on training? When? On Tuesday. On what Tuesday. Is... Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice. Teacher, I have a question. Sure. Uh, when the the last one, when when is Carlos in training? And what is he, what is his schedule schedule on Friday? I guess the schedule is schedule is just the time when he began began and we finished the day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the schedule okay. from the beginning when you finish. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. We finished. Yeah. Okay, great. I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank You're you. welcome. Because they need to develop uh, language skills for mm. for that edge because the pronunciation, um, the self confidence in the kids. Uh, I don't know how do you say autonomia. I tell the teacher. Teacher. <laughs> how do you say autonomia or autonomia? Que ellos son como, Sí, uh -huh. yeah, she is explaining me the way how she uh, teaches because I didn't know she's a teacher for yes. kindergarten four. <laughs> I admire yeah, her yeah, yeah, lots of patience. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she has a lot of <laughs> and creativity and... because uh -huh. yeah, you have to have a lot of creativity with mm -hmm. small children. See, I I I cannot work with small children because uh, for me it. It, it drives me crazy when, when, <laughs> when, when the child, the, the children say, teacher, eh, eh, ya está aburrida, que quiero, que quiero hacer otra cosa. And they do that all the time, the whole day, because uh -huh. it's like they are, they, they're constantly changing. Uh -huh. you know, they they want to do this, they want to do that there. And that just drives me crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, I, you yeah. need to work quickly because they, uh, distract too easily yes. for, for yes. anything. Yes, exactly. You have to change the activity constantly, like every five minutes. <laughs> My goodness. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So it just drives me crazy. So I can't work with small children. So <laughs> we are discussing, and she's telling me that I was, uh, we were discussing that now that the vaccine will be applied to children from yes. 12 and above yes. maybe uh, now the college uh, the schools will be open we can think maybe uh, next year but remember this is um only teenagers and above mm. because the vaccine has not been approved yet exactly for, for young young children exactly but for at least that will help a lot for they to connect and talk with other people not only with the technology Absolutely. That is, for that reason she is explaining me the, the importance of that and, and she was asking you how do you say crear autonomía en los niños no sé cómo se puede decir o que sean autónomos los niños no sé eso me estaba como más independientes ah podemos usar esa palabra independent i would say more independent ah okay. be more independent ah okay Yes, because Javi is explaining me also that there are some kids that they do not connect to the Zoom classes or they are not neither going mm -hmm. to the school. So they have to study when the, 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 the parents have time maybe to share their cell phone or computer. Wow. Well, Incredible. Well, the only, I, the, the, the one thing I like about, I've, I've liked about this online thing mm -hmm. is that parents finally have understood understood how, exactly how, how difficult a, a teacher's job is exactly. you know they, yes. really, they have understood and now they 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 can understand 
oh, it's not my child, you know, it's not my child born because, you know, before it was like, oh, you know, the teacher is a bad teacher. That's why you don't yes. do well, you know, that's why you don't, you don't have good grades, you know, it's her fault, right? Mm. But now, now, yeah, right, right, Javi? Yes, yes. You, know, you know how it is, right? So, yeah, I mean, it happens. But now yes. they, have, they have been able to understand mm -hmm. how difficult it is. And that's just that they may have one or two or three children at home, right? And now just imagine what it's like to have a room for a glass. Children. Exactly. Yes. Wow. It's not easy. Exactly. It's that is something good that the pandemic makes people understand. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm hoping that that teacher, uh, sorry, that um, parents will be much more em, em, um, empathetic for teachers from now And show on. respect for the job they and do. Show respect for the job. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's a good thing. Anyways, okay. uh, we'll see each other in the, in the break. Okay. In a moment. Sorry, in the main room in a moment. <laughs> okay. okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Se me retiró mi maestro de ceremonia. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so I need, ah, no, here he is. <laughs> Sorry. I was washing the dishes. Oh, you okay. <laughs> I see, I see. Hey. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's check the answers, guys. Let's see what you guys think. Um, okay. Please tell me when if you can see it. Yes, we can see it. Okay, good. All right, so first question, who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesdays to Fridays? Laura. 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 Okay, um, a quien le dije esto? Uh, I, Irene, yes, I told Irene. Okay, Irene, te, can you explain to us what I, what I explained to you? Okay, and you told me the, the, the correct pronunciation for the name. Laura in, in English is Laura, right? In, in Spanish, in English, the correct Laura. pronunciation is Laura. Laura. And in French, I guess she told you too. <laughs> oh. In English. No, no, I don't know. <laughs> No, that far. I wish I could, but no, I, I'm actually not that fluent. Um, anyway, um, yeah, Laura. very good. Laura. Yeah, so like I, I was telling, I was telling her in Spanish, her name is Irene, right? But I never call her Irene because we're in English class, so I call her Irene, right? Mm. So the same thing happens with this, this word, um, this name. In Spanish, we say Laura. But in English, we say Laura. 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 And it's not Laura de Laura de Perico, right? <laughs> no. Okay, so, so don't confuse it. This is, this is Laura on the spot rock. Yeah, it's not a parrot. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's not a parrot. It's Lore. Lore. Laura. Laura. No, it's not Lore. It, sorry, it's not Laura. Laura. It's Laura. 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 Laura is on the parrot. Laura or the parrot? <laughs> Laura. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Um, any questions about that? Laura. No. No? Okay. So, and, and you got to be careful with those, all of those names as well, because, you know. Thomas uh, is the other one. Sorry? Thomas is the second one. Thomas. Oh yeah, Thomas. Yeah. In that case, um, yeah, I, I I would say Thomas because it doesn't have the th. It's not so it's not 
It's not Tomas. Juan Thomas, it's just Thomas, right? Um, so it's not Tomas, right? It's Thomas, right? Sofia is the same, right? Sofia and Carlos, yes, okay? Carlos. Carlos. Uh, I have a doubt. You mentioned that sometimes Thomas shows an uh, H between T and the O. In English, we pronounce, we, we, um, we spell it with the TH, yes. Oh. So it's actually spelled, in English, it's spelled like this. Uh, but it's the same pronunciation, Thomas. Thomas, yes. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. Yes, I saw that. In English, it's spelled like this. Mm. Okay. Okay. And there are other there are other names. Oh, I can't remember right now. But uh, there are other names in that uh, in English and Spanish. They're they're pronounced very differently. And so, sometimes when I say that to my my students, they don't understand. They don't understand that I'm talking to them because, for example, <laughs> I don't say I don't say Ivan. Ivan. Okay. Yeah. Like for example, Ivan. Right. I don't say yeah, I don't say Ivan. I say Ivan. Right. Okay, and uh, or Joshua, or Joshua, mm -hmm. Joseph. Uh, hmm? Joseph, Joseph, yeah, but but these ones have a different spelling. That, that that's the only difference. Like with like for example, um, Joseph and Jose, they're they're I mean, they're the same name, but they have different spelling. Right, mm -hmm. so that doesn't really apply. But I'm talking about words, or better said, names that have the same spelling in both languages, but are pronounced differently. For example, um, in Spanish, you say. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, you say. Karen. Got it. And in English. Karen. Karen. <laughs> Karen. Exactly. Karen. Yeah. So same spelling, but different pronunciations. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Y, y Josephine and Josephine. Or yes. all the names. But, but it, yes. But, but remember that in this case, uh, Josefina is it finishes an A. So if it, if the person's name is Josefina, then you're just gonna say Josefina, right? Because um, it it finishes an A, so you're not gonna change it to Josephine. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I guess Wendy is one of those names that you write it in the same way. And Wendy, it... right? But your name, for example, is different. Mm -hmm. You don't say in your name in Spanish. In Spanish, is Claudia. Mm -hmm. In English, it's hmm? and in English, how do you say your name? I heard people calling me Claudia. Claudia, oh. exactly, Claudia. So same pronounce, sorry, same spelling but different mm -hmm. pronunciation. Exactly. So I'm, I'm Claudia. Uh, Anna uh, Claudia. No, sometimes uh, they call me Anna, Anna, because Anna I say Claudia. my name is Anna. No, right. I remember they just use the shortest. <laughs> Right, yeah, exactly. The only difference is that some customers, they write it with double N. That is the only difference. But that would be N, right? Yeah, it's N. N with yeah, double N. With the last Exactly. A. Another last name a. that is actually um, uh, pronounced differently as well is there's another person in this class that also has the name that we spell, we say it's pronounced differently in- Louis. <laughs> no. Uh, in Spanish, uh, you say? Heidi. Heidi. <laughs> Heidi, exactly. Um, and, but in English, Haiti, actually, to be honest, Haiti is a country. They call me Heidi. The name is. Exactly. Uh, in, in English, ha Haiti is a uh -huh. country. What, what country is Haiti? From, from Germans. No, it's a country in the Caribbean. Ah. Uh. Haiti. Uh. <laughs> okay, so in English, Haiti is actually the country. Oh, that is the way how do you pronounce ID? Yes, Haiti. Oh, I didn't uh -huh. know. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Teacher, so. Heidi is in English, I did. No. 
Aide? Mm, probably. I, I, to be honest, I hadn't thought about that, but it makes a lot of sense. Yes. But in English, you pronounce it Haiti. Haiti. Oh, okay. So this, like I said, this name in Spanish is Haiti, but mm -hmm. in English, Haiti is a country. So in English, when we want to pronounce mm -hmm. this, word, this name, mm -hmm. we say Heidi. Ah, okay. Heidi. Not Haiti, but Heidi. 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 Okay. <laughs> My name is Heidi in English. You know the high feeler. <laughs> What? But there's a difference, right? Because in Haiti, the country is with a uh, sounds like an R, right? Haiti, not D. Um. Yes, it's between an R and a D. It's like in between those two letters. Um, Heidi. Heidi. Okay, Heidi. My friend Heidi. <laughs> exactly. Yeah um yeah so 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 on i just i just wanted to call your attention to those details because um you know it makes a difference uh, i know that you know um in some of your, your cases like i said before i've i've i when i've called the list of people um in my class and i say for example i call someone and i say laura and nobody answers Mm -hmm. I say, Laura, and nobody answers. And I said, Laura, are you there? You know, and, and she's, uh, you know, so she doesn't recognize her name in, 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 another, in another language. So it's very important that you recognize your name in another language, how people would say your name. Yeah, that's the thing, how people would say your name. Teacher, yeah. in the last name, is translate to, for example, Martinez, Delgado, no. No, it's... they're not going to translate it, but you, they are going to pronounce it differently. Mm -hmm. For example, my last name is Guerrero. And I remember growing up when I was in high school, people would never be able to pronounce my, my last name. because Guerrero. They, Guerrero. They, 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 they don't, it's not an, it's not a common, uh, but medicine, it's not, it's not a last name that is very common for um, North American people. Like they, you know, that, that last name, they don't really recognize it. So it's not like something like Lopez, for example, they know Lopez. They told you warrior. <laughs> <laughs> actually, one of my supervisors called me that, but, um, but actually, yeah. So, DJ, where did you born, by the way? Which city or? I was actually born here in El Salvador. I was born in, mm -hmm. in here in San Salvador. I was actually born in the the um, the Seguro Social, the one in. <laughs> okay, but yeah. then you grow up yeah. in the U.S. But I, because I left when I was two years old. Oh. Um, to Canada, I don't remember anything from El Salvador. Like my first memory is is over there in Canada. Yeah. Oh, nice Canada! Ooh, so you are used to all those cold weathers. Ugh. Well, when I was there, yes. I think now I would I wouldn't be like I would have to get also a, a little bit um, uh, used to that weather because right now I'm used to the hot weather. <laughs> Mm. your body mm -hmm. temperature kind of changes but i think exactly. to it. i think <laughs> anyway what i was saying is that for example when when i was growing up and i was in school they would say for example jessica garo <gasps> oh. okay so they would never pronounce it they would say garo or mm. they would say gra -ra -ra. <laughs> 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 No, it was really funny, um, but I knew that they were referring to me, so ah, you know, it didn't really matter. But yeah, it's something that you guys need to. It's like it's a cultural thing that you guys need to get used to. Anyways, moving on, let's go on to the next question. When is the dishwasher's day off? Wednesday. 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 My big question is, what happens? uh on, on thursday <laughs> any any clean dishes <laughs> okay uh number three how long is thomas's break 
30 minutes. Yeah. 30 minutes. Oh, have 20 minute break all the time. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's, because, it's pretty much because he works only like say, a five or six hours, right? So that's why he has a short break. Um, okay. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to call your attention to this little uh, important fact, which is that when you have, when you have a, a, a name that finishes in an S in English, uh, many times you will, you will notice that you don't write another S after the apostrophe. Do you see that? So the, the break belongs to Thomas, right? The break is Thomas's possession, mm. right? Okay, so the break belongs to Thomas. So it's his possession. But to show possession, we do not, uh, we, do, we only put the apostrophe ah. without the S. Wow. We do not put an S, mm -hmm. okay? And the reason is because I mean, let me clarify this. Most of the time, you will not put an S. But it is possible to see that sometimes you will see the, the S after. But now it's more common to not see it more than it is to see it. Okay? So like in the case of Thomas, it finishes with an S. Because it sounds weird if you say, how long is Thomas's break? Mm -hmm. Right? So instead of uh, making so much S there, the S sound, we just say Thomas break. Thomas break. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Next question. Sorry. Yeah. Next question. What is Sophia's job in the restaurant? Uh, bartender. She's the bartender, that's right. Bartender. And when is her vacation? Friday, Friday and, and Saturday. Saturday. Friday and Saturday, mm -hmm. exactly. All right, so that's when she starts her vacation. It's not her, notice it's not her day off, it's her vacation, okay? All right, uh, what is, what, sorry, when is Carlos on training? Tuesday. Tuesday. And Tuesday. On Tuesday, that's right. And what is the schedule on Friday? Gerber. Oh, his schedule on Friday. His schedule on Friday is high. From, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Exactly, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. All right, questions? No? No teacher. Okay. All right, good. Let's move on. So now it's your turn. We have the schedule here again, okay? And we're gonna be working in pairs. Join your assigned breakout room. Use the model above to create a schedule for five employees at your company. And then share your schedule with the class. Is that pretty clear what you're gonna be doing? Yeah. Okay. So something very similar to this for five of your employees, okay? Teacher, are we going to make only one schedule for both or everyone yeah. has to? No, do it one. One for both, you know, you can combine your, the people at your workplace in one schedule. Okay. Is that clear for everybody? What are we going to be doing? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to open up the rooms right now for you guys to start working on that. Please create it in a digital form so that it's possible for you guys to share after, okay? So here we go, let's open the rooms.
Hi, Andres. Can you see me? Can you hear me? You having any problems? Andres, are you having any problems? No? Andres? Sorry, teacher. I'm having problems. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, hold on a second. Um, give me a moment. Okay. Um, I have. I have sent you to a breakout room. Can you see it? No lo mira. No lo mira. Okay, lo veo. Hello, teacher. What happens? You are mute. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I I made a mistake. Um, ah, okay. I, I was with um. Ron. I know, I know, I know. You were with. Let me send you back. Okay. A ver si puedo. No, no, pero, va, mire, le voy a mandar ahorita a un, a un, a un cuarto, enfrente. el que está enfrente, ah. <ríe> le voy a mandar una, a un cuarto, no se vaya, solamente le mando la invitación para después poder mandarlo de vuelta al, al que es correcto, ¿ok? Ok. ¿Ahorita le digo una invitación? Sí. Ok, vaya, ahora lo voy a mover nuevamente al que sí es. Hoy sí lo, ok. ¿Qué pasó? I, I don't know. I joined the, to the breakout room and, and then get here again. Ah, ah, ok, let's try this again. Otra vez le mando. No, no se vaya hasta que me diga que sí he recibido. Ok, y primero lo mando aquí. Ajá, al 8. Al 8, ok, muy bien. Ajá. Del 8 lo voy ahora a mandar al 6. Dígame si le aparece el del 6. Sí. Ok, perfecto. Hoy sí. Ok. Sorry. La, la, la dejé así solita un momentito. <risa> sí, uh, me salgo, no me salgo. ¿Qué, onda? ¿Qué hago? Me voy a dormir. <risa> Ay, 
Okay. Bueno. Okay, now. Okay. Um. Can you see my exo? Que, que te mueves en plantas. Supervisor. Supervisor, supervisor training. <laughs> sí, supervisor. Trainer. Trainer. Supervisor trainer. In English, right? Yes, yeah, supervisor train trainer. I don't. She is the the bot for all the trainers. Is that right to, to say it in the way supervisor trainer or trainer supervisors? No. Um, uh, trainers with an apostrophe. Trainers supervisor. No. Um, yeah, supervisor. Supervisor. Yes, like that. Supervisor. Ah, okay. Supervisor. No, no, no. Eh? No, no, no. Wait, sorry, sorry. My mistake. My mistake. It would be a chief trainer. Chief. Ah, trainer. ah chief trainer. Okay. Chief. Mm. chief. Not shift. No, chief. chief the. The, the jefe. Jefe. Uh -huh. chief trainer. Okay, and we have a doubt because one person, uh, he gives the training for all the programs in the computer. So we don't know if to mention what he does as programming computer trainer. Because only programming trainer or only computer trainer we have we were discussing that okay tell me the tell me the story again we don't know there is one of the, the persons that he teach about the programs and applications of the computers he's a trainer on that so we don't know if to name it as a programming computer trainer or we don't know if just to say computer trainer or just programming trainer uh, because he doesn't show a mechanical thing he he teach about the programs and applications so this is like it but oh. all of them are trying i training right wendy the, yes it, right no no, no, because they he doesn't fix anything. He teach, right? Yes, because IT is the department, department, department. other departments. And we have a training, trainer. Only that. For example, the no, class software. Class. Uh huh. He teaches about the software. Uh -huh. so be a software trainer. Ah, uh, software trainer. Uh, ah, okay. Software trainer. Yes, we were also discussing if we use that word to software train. Okay. Software trainer. Okay. And we have another mechanical trainer because he is the one, I remind me, Wendy, he teaches about the machines. The, yes, the machine, the repair the machines. How to? So he will be mechanical trainer <laughs> we are going to name it in that way okay right. so wendy is the chief train trainer <laughs> I'll, I'll see you girls in a moment okay 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 Abby, what happened i don't know what happened i i talked with uh jury and then he disappeared, he disappeared. <laughs> he disappeared. Oh, okay yeah because i was wondering if maybe I had an assigned job partner or your partner had had left. I don't so I, I was not sure. Oh I don't know um, what happened, but he he was uh okay. taking an implant, but he okay, let's do something. I'm going to I'm going to bring a new partner. Okay. And uh, I don't know what happened to Jerry. If he comes back, I will send Jerry back to you. But we're gonna have a new partner because. Here he is. Okay. Hello, Werner. Okay, so you're going to be working with Javi. She's going to explain. Okay. 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 
Okay, I work from that. We make a, a, a similar schedule for the, for the example in the book. Uh, uh, we try um, to make a, a schedule to hours, hours schedule designate this the Sydney. Uh, how do you say designate, teacher? Designate. De designate um a time to to work or the hours to to the work. Uh, we think in server, host, kitchen manager, and cashier, and executive chef for uh, a different uh, jobs in the staff. You propose some um, schedule or hours for somebody? On the start, where was the? Okay, there it is. Mm -hmm. The open time, eight thirty a.m. On 8 30 a.m. to at what time do you want to leave? At 12 30. Thank you. Wow, I like this. This yeah. Time. And I asked for, for Friday uh, for free day on Friday. My goodness, I love that one. Like, <laughs> wow. An hour for lunch and to break. You wanna work here, Ross, teacher? <laughs> Sorry? You wanna work for us? Yeah, I, I, it sounds like a very enticing job. Yeah, I, I would definitely consider it. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. So 10, 10 30 minutes of break. Come on. <laughs> Chief trainer, uh-huh. Chief trainer, I see it. Okay, so from Monday to Friday, shift trainer. Shift. Okay. I don't know why, because mm -hmm. no change the the position. <laughs> no, we are. What we are going to change is uh, the days they uh, move from one place to another. Uh, for example, she's always from Monday to, because she's the chief, is the boss. She has a fixed schedule. We can say uh, from um, 7 a.m. to 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 2, 3 p.m. 7 a.m. Uh -huh. From 7 a.m. Uh, but Wendy, um, today we uh -huh. have one or one class, okay? Sorry, teacher. Wendy, Wendy, today we have our one on one session. Today we have our one on one session. I don't understand, teacher. Sorry. No, the one -on -one today is your turn. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. After the class, today is your turn. The 10 minutes. I sorry, perdón, teacher. Sorry, I no no alineé la idea. The <laughs> name for those sessions is one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. Okay. One -on -one. Okay, so you have the one-on-one -on -one session today, okay? Just letting you know. Okay. Okay, teacher. Pero ya son las 10, teacher. Ahorita. ahorita. Hace lista ya, le va a decir para que. <laughs> Sí, porque tengo que, es que tengo que acostar a mi hijo después de la clase, siempre lo acuesto sí, a dormir. Ahorita, ahorita me lo voy a regresar a la, a la okay. session, ¿ok? Ok.
teacher is here now to say goodbye, everybody. <laughs> All right, thank it's you. It's time to sleep. Okay, so I'm, I know that you probably are not finished, so we're going to have a little bit more time to finish this off tomorrow, okay? So don't, don't panic. Uh, I'll give you a little bit more time tomorrow. Right now, since it's um, already our time, let's just quickly take the attendance. Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Javid? Present teacher. Andres? Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Dennis Orlando, I guess not. Edgar Menjivar? Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Eddie Chorleni, I guess not. <laughs> Urban? Present teacher. All right, great. Uh, Fabiola, no. Haiti? Present teacher. Excellent. Irene? Present teacher. Ivan? Present teacher. Josue? No, I guess was with something happened to him. Okay. Uh, Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Who, uh, Jerry? Present teacher. Luis? Present teacher. Manuel Alejandro? Natalia? Wendy? Present. Werner? Present teacher. Uh, Yvonne? Present teacher. Edgar Enriquez, Elizabeth, Jose Montes, sorry, Jose Ayala. Present teacher. All right, great. Okay, so that's it, guys. That's it. I will see you guys tomorrow and um, take care. All right. Have a good evening or a good night. Good night to you. Good night. Thank Dean. you. Bye bye. Good night. 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 ¿Qué preguntas tiene hasta la fecha? Y no tiene que ser solo de la plataforma o del curso. Puede ser cualquier pregunta que usted tenga sobre el idioma. El micrófono, Wendy. Ay, teacher, sorry. Es que a veces, no sé, me pongo y no, no le aprieto allí. Lo siento. Cuénteme. Bueno, teacher, eh, primero, ay, no me acordaba que tenía ahora el, el, el face to face con usted. Ah, ok. Pero, por ejemplo, hubo una parte que ay, que yo dije que quería preguntar pero no me acuerdo cuál era teacher. para usar mm. de, ay, no recuerdo cuál era la, lo que le quería preguntar ajá pero, realmente yo dije, cuando me toque pasar, eso lo voy a preguntar, pero cuando, hoy que no me acordaba que iba a pasar. Tranquila, tranquila, búsquelo con, así con tiempo, no hay problema. ¿Se acuerda más o menos? Ah, el, es que sabe que no me queda muy claro como el uso del did. ¿El uso de? El did. Did. Cuando usa el did, ajá, espérenme, es que lo acabo de encontrar. El did. Eh, ajá, es que el did es del pasado, ¿verdad, teacher? Ajá, correcto. Entonces, es como, no sé, me confunde, porque, por ejemplo, eh, para preguntar es did 
you. Y para responder sería, yes, I did. Y yes, I do. Ok, ya, ahorita, ahorita voy a, a responderle eso. Ok, bye. ahorita le voy a... Para que sea más fácil para usted. Dígame si lo logra ver. ¿Lo puede ver? Sí. Ok, va, muy bien. Entonces, vaya, vamos a empezar con la primera. I do my homework. ¿Verdad? Entonces, I do my homework es, en, en español decimos... Eh, ¿Es eso en español? Sería como eh, yo hice o algo así mi tarea o algo así. Ok, esto es I do my homework. I do my homework. Entonces sería yo hago, es presente. Exacto, yo hago mi tarea. Exacto, yo hago mi tarea. Porque el, el, el verbo es hacer tarea. ¿eh? En inglés, do homework. ¿Ya? Entonces, mm -hmm. este es el presente. ¿Ya? This is the present. But, if we're talking about the past, we're going to have to change it. No sería I do my homework, sino I did my homework. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. El do se cambia a did. Y ahora se hace pasado. Entonces, el did se puede usar como un verbo, eh, el, como el verbo uh, principal. ¿Verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. Pero no solo se usa como un verbo principal. Por ejemplo, en esto de acá. Do you do your homework? ¿En Spanish? Do you do your homework? Uh -huh. ¿Tú haces tu tarea? Sería como tú haces tu tarea o algo así. ¿Tú haces tu tarea? Correcto. Entonces tú haces tu tarea. That's the present. El presente. Pero si queremos hablar acerca del pasado, no tú haces tu tarea, tu tarea sino que tú hiciste tu tarea. Entonces lo que vamos a hacer es de que el verbo el verbo principal es este de acá. ¿Verdad? Do you do your homework? Y esto viene siendo el auxiliar. ¿Ya? Entonces lo que vamos a hacer es el auxiliar. Entonces como lo que vamos a hacer para convertir el presente al pasado sería que le vamos a cambiar. Did. Entonces ahora decir ya no es el verbo el principal, sino que es un auxiliar. I did, ajá. Uh -huh. okay, uh -huh. Lo mismo pasa con esta pregunta. Does she do exercise at the gym? Ella hace ejercicio en el gimnasio. Entonces, en este caso sería un present, ¿verdad? Ella uh -huh. hace ejercicio en el gimnasio. El presente. Pero si yo quiero cambiar esto al pasado, tengo que entender que el verbo es do exercise, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. El verbo principal. Y la auxiliar sería does, ¿verdad? Ese es la auxiliar. Pero como queremos cambiar esto al pasado, entonces el does se convierte en did. Entonces did puede ser do o does en, del presente. Ok. Sí, claro, o sea que did, did eh, se va a usar con todos los, 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 los nombres. No importa si es she, he, we, you, I. Exacto, eso es lo que quería ilustrarle. Que uh -huh. en este caso el, el uh, pronombre es you y en este caso el pronombre es she, pero independiente 
si en el, en el presente es do o en, o en el presente es does, siempre se va a cambiar para el pasado en did. En did. ¿Ok? Ajá. Ajá. ¿Ok? Y ahí me confundía yo porque según yo decía, bueno, si es did, did you, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero es entonces... Ahí quizás yo decía, me hace falta algo, porque entonces, ¿cuál es el que se ocupa para el she, el he, el we? Sí. Decía, o sea, esa parte me faltaba, con razón. Esa es la belleza del idioma inglés, que en ese sentido es bien, es bien, uh, las reglas gramaticales son bien fáciles, porque eh, cuando uh -huh. estamos hablando del auxiliar did, no importa el pronombre, si es I, you, he, she, it, we, they, siempre vas a terminar siendo did. Entonces eso es, es lo hace, convierte mucho más simple. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Sí, lo... y, y, el, y el verbo do, como tal, ¿qué significa? Do, do. Do es hacer. 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 Pero nuevamente tenemos que eh, identificar, y por eso lo, hizo, lo puse aquí a propósito, porque aunque originalmente había puesto esto, Do you do your homework or does she do, does she do exercise at the gym? Eh, no, note que aquí usamos dos do, pero uno es el verbo y el otro es el auxiliar. Ajá. Y, y la verdad que la, la regla dice que el verbo va a ir siempre después del pronombre. Sí, correcto. Uh -huh. Para identificarlo, ¿verdad? En este caso, para identificarlo, eh, en este caso, según la regla, es porque va después del pronombre. Uh -huh. Yo dijera, ay, ¿cuál de los dos es? O sea, según la regla, la dice de que va después del el yo, por decirlo. Ah, correcto. Entonces, vaya, aquí, como digo, no se puede perder, ¿verdad? Porque eh, el verbo principal es el que va después del, del sujeto y el, y el auxiliar es el que va al principio. Siempre el auxiliar va al principio, si es una pregunta. Eh, en el caso, y, y no, no tiene que ser el verbo do. Por ejemplo, aquí puedo cambiar el verbo to y a, solo dejarlo acá y es, ahora este no se nos convierte en el verbo. Uh -huh. Exercise at the gym. Entonces, independiente cuál es el verbo, el auxiliar en el pasado sería did. Did, en todo. Did, did you do your homework? Did you exercise at the gym? ¿Por qué? Porque en el pasado, eh, el did va con todos los verbos, todos los verbos, con la, con la excepción del verbo be. Okay. Okay. El verbo be es, una, es otra historia, pero todos los demás verbos, do, um, eat, exercise, drink, play, watch, etcétera, etcétera, todos van a ir con el ter para el pasado. Ahora, ¿cómo se va a responder? Se responde de esta forma. Se va a responder. Yes. Oh. Yes, I did. Oh no, I didn't. Mm -hmm. ¿Verdad? Entonces aquí la respuesta va a ser eh, el sí o el no, ¿verdad? Y después va el, el, el subject. ¿Verdad? En este caso el subject no es, no es you, ¿verdad? Por, porque es una pregunta directa, ¿verdad? Y le está preguntando a usted, entonces usted va a responder acerca de usted misma, ¿verdad? Y por último tenemos nuevamente el auxiliar, no el verbo, el auxiliar. Entonces sería siempre did, si es afirmativo, y didn't, si es negativo. Teacher, ¿y si esa, y si esa fuera la respuesta larga, cómo sería? Did you do your homework? Yes, I did my homework. No, I didn't do my homework. Okay. Do my homework. Do. Do. Usando el do siempre. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, porque, sí, porque sería el verbo es do your homework. Y aquí lo mismo, 
la misma respuesta aquí, solo que en este vamos a cambiarlo porque no es I, sino que es she. Esa es la diferencia. Uh -huh. she she también. No, she didn't. Pero, pero en sí, si usted puede ver, el auxiliar siempre es el mismo, did. No importa, lo único que cambia acá es el, eh, el pronombre, she. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Ahora sí entendí, es que fíjese de que me quedaba como ese vacío. Uh -huh. Y por eso, que... para, eso, para eso son estas sesiones de, de uno a uno. Y de hecho, uh, Wendy, si hay alguien, por ejemplo, si le toca a alguien y, y, nadie, y esa persona no está en clase ese día o no se puede quedar y usted tiene una pregunta pendiente, con gusto. O sea, dígale, dígame, dicho, yo tengo una pregunta que hacer. ¿Verdad? Y ahí puede que nos tardemos solo dos minutos en contestarla, pero si usted quiere, le puedo ayudar después de clases con, sin ningún problema. Ah, vale. Usted ya haya tenido su sesión. Uh -huh. Ah, vale. Perfecto. Vale. Ok, entonces, respuesta completada. Le, le... Sí, teacher, muchas gracias. Realmente voy a buscar aquí porque... Tenía algunas, yo les pongo como asterisco a los que son como mis dudas. Eso. Las voy a buscar aquí y voy a estar pendiente de cuando no le toque a nadie. Okay. Cuando le toque a alguien y no puedan quedarse para preguntar. Excelente, me parece súper. Ah, pues entonces así quedamos, Wendy. Eh, cualquier cosita también, si tiene alguna duda, también me ponen en WhatsApp. Okay. Sí, lo que voy a hacer, teacher, es que todavía hay como, como palabras que se me, como que se me olvidan o, o como que no recuerdo, no, no tengo bien claro eh, el, el concepto. Por ejemplo, ahora eh, no recordaba que era el purchase, purchasing. Purchase, ajá. Ajá, no me acordaba que era. Entonces, este, cuando son así como palabras así, entonces a veces las subrayo o les pongo como un asterisco. Uh -huh. Se la voy a ir apuntando mejor aparte. Uh -huh. Cualquier cosa, o mejor otra cosa que puede hacer es lo siguiente: puede en ese mismo momento póngame un, un mensaje por WhatsApp y diga, teacher, fíjese que en la próxima vez um, que, que se puede, me gustaría que me respondiera esta pregunta. Ah, va. Perfecto, y, entonces, y así podemos ver si hay, no hay alguien que se vaya a quedar ese día, yo le puedo decir, Wendy, mire, eh, si usted quiere, se puede quedar, le, le vamos a responder esta pregunta que usted tenía. Sí, dice, porque a veces estoy así como que, a veces vengo bien cansada uh -huh. y a veces, este, si dice de mismo cansancio, que a veces no comprendo las cosas eh, y a veces siento como que bien listilla, ¿verdad? pero a veces ando. Entonces, para, para, quizás en el momento en que usted explicó el did, esa parte quizás no puse atención o qué, y a mí me hubiera quedado como ese vacío. O a veces así se pasa que tal vez ese día tuvo problemas de conexión, ¿verdad? O, o no era por X motivo. Entonces, sí, hay un montón de cosas que pueden pasar, pero lo importante es no eh, quedarse con esa laguna. Para eso es la importancia. Las lagunas sí, sí. empiezan como lagunas y terminan como océanos. ¿Verdad? Entonces, es cierto. Queremos que esa laguna se convierta en un charco. Sí, porque no va a terminar siendo los siete mares ahí. Exacto. Okay. Así que eso es importante. Muchas Bye. gracias, Ay, de nada, Wendy. ¿Alguna otra cosa que, con la que le pueda ayudar? No, por el momento no, teacher. Muchas gracias. You're welcome. Ya sabe, cualquier cosa aquí estamos. Pase buenas noches. Igualmente, Wendy. Buenas noches. Mm -hmm.